Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at activity 21i. It says open the web page htmltips.htm and replace, replace the text, your name, with your name. It did the web page so that each new section contains an anchor. Alright, so let's just take it after one, one more, after the other, please. So I'm going to do this and then I'm going to first of all locate this file, right? And then create a uh, web page so each of the new section contains an anchor. So let's create anchor for each section. Okay, before we now link up the section. So you can you can take your time and read the question so that you'll be able to follow what we're doing. Okay, so so let me just first of all locate from my chapter 21 folder. Let me locate uh, HTML tips. Okay, so I'll copy that. Then go to my file, my activity folder, activity 21 i folder. I'm going to paste it there. And then for convenience, I'm going to just change the name immediately. Activity 21 i, right? Good. So let me inspect the site, the web page. Okay. So I'm going to change this your name here. To my name, okay. This is my your name here. I'm gonna change it to my name. So let me open it in the code in in um, Notepad plus plus. So I'm going to right click edit with Notepad plus plus. So I'll locate where it is here, and then type my name here. So let me start with my first name. Okay. So that's it right there. So I'll save my changes, and then go back to the web page and then of course my name changes right good okay so that's that's it for that so the next thing we're going to do let me see my question is to create anchor now for each section page so that each new section contains an anchor okay so let's go to our page so which means that what it means that for each for each section here we're going to create an anchor here right that's what I'm going to do right now. So let's go back uh, and locate them. So here is one of them. Okay. So I will look, I will create an anchor here using the div. All right. The div tag. Okay. Let me just go close the div. Right. And then the next thing is to give it ID. So the ID, I'm just going to give you website. That's something I can remember easily. Website, that's for this. So the next, okay, so let me just copy everything here. Just to make it faster for us. So I'm going to now paste here. This is the second section. So um, I change the name, the ID name to HTML. All right. And then the next thing is to move to the next uh, section, which is this one. So I'm going to call this web page. The next one, which is here, I'll paste it right there. And then call this ID, I'll call it terms. Just to be able to call it. And then, of course, what is the hexadecimal? I'm going to call this decimal, just decimal, right? So uh, that's that for that. One, two, okay. So, so now, so now we've created an anchor, right? So the question says that we should now use these anchors to create hyperlink from the appropriate text in the first section, okay? So make the word top in the last line a the top here make it a, a hyperlink to the top of the page right mm, so let me do that okay let me just uh, let me do this first let me just do this top thing right first of all let me locate it down here uh, so this is it here so I'm going to create first of all let me create anchor see where it is okay so the anchor will be up here so the link will be down so, so let me just go down 
I'm still coming back to the website thing that was just created, but I like to do this so that I don't get confused. All right, so um, where's the top? This is the top here. So let me create, but let me paste. Oh, so let me just create this. Let me just create the div. Right? Yeah. So let me create the div here. This is where the anchor will be. Yeah. Div. And then um, uh, ID. Sorry. I'm going to call it top. Right? Anything else? Yeah. So let me just go and reference it down here. I just want to test this one to be sure of what, what we're doing. So A. Sorry. A. This is the reference using the anchor. A. So the next thing is to have the ref. Sorry, H ref. H ref. So I'm going to reference top. Which is supposed to be the same name with the ID. It must be the same name with the ID. Then have a, a, a hash uh, sign behind it. So I'm going to just uh, save that and then go to my page, refresh it, go down to top where it is there. So when I click it, it comes up. So we're good. All right. So that's the job. So we're going to do the same thing for each section here. All right. So I've already created an anchor. It's, I think it's really one here. So let me just create this one. Let me create this anchor here also in addition to the, the rest that we've done. Div, then open, close div. Then within that, I'll now give it an ID name, which should be, let me just give it links. Let me just give it links, all right? So we created anchor for each of them. So now let's reference, let's create a way to reference them from here. Okay, so because we want to do this in such a way that when you click, sorry, let me just increase this. Now, when you click any of these uh, sections, any of these sections or the topics here, you are going to, it's not going to take you to the, to the section where it is on the page. That's what we want to create. So already we created an anchor for each of the sections. Okay, so we're going to go up here now to create a reference so in such a way that when we click, the topic is going to take us to where the topic is in the page. So let's have so using the a tag, which is the anchor. So let's have let's close that, and then of course reference href equals. Um, so of course it has to match with this. Okay, so we want to reference here. We want to reference what is a website. So it has to so the the website here has to match the website here. The only difference would be the the hash that will be on the each web attribute. Okay, so website. So I'm going to have hash here. The spelling has to be the same. All right. So I think that's about it. So let me just uh, save that and then go to. Go and refresh my page and see that this, this has changed to a link, hyperlink. So if I click it, it takes me directly to what is the website, so, and which is what I need, I need. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to do this last one. This last one always tells me, you know, pretty well because it's going to jump to the last of the, the last of the page, but I expect the page to just get to this point. So let me just do the last one, okay? I will, I will come back to the rest, but just to be sure that it jumps. Uh, okay, so this is links. So the name, the ID, the ID is link. So let me just reference it. Uh, link here. Let me just reference. So let me just copy this code. So type in afresh. Let me just. Uh, so I'm expected to. So links. So I will close the A tag here. Okay. So I will save that. And then see whether the the last one changed. So if I click it, it takes me to the last page. So which is cool. So I will do that to, for, to the rest of the uh, topics. Okay. So I'll have this here. I should be able to remember to also close the anchor. 
and change the name. So this name should be HTML. Okay, HTML you should match the HTML here, right? The ID, right? Good. So the next one is going to be web page. Has to match the web page that we created before. Okay, web page close close this. Mm, this. Sorry. This. Uh, the next one is going to be. It's going to be terms. Okay, terms it has to match what we have down here, which is terms, right? So because that's where it's going to, it's going to reference. So first of all, I must not forget to close my anchor. Um, the next one is going to be the decimal. I remember that. Yeah, decimal. Decimal. I'll close the anchor right here. So I'll change. I will save my changes and then go back and then refresh. So everything has been changed. So if I click here, it takes me to what is the decimal. If I click here, it's going to take me exactly to uh, make sure that you see you use the correct thing. So I think our links, our anchor, they are correct. All right. Now let's go. Let's go to the next section of the question. So make the word CIE a hyperlink to the website website www.cie.org.uk. Okay, so let's go back and do that. So this time around, it does not, it shouldn't need anchor, just straight up reference it since it is um website. So let's let's look for it at the page. Okay, so this is it here. So I'm I'm just going to reference immediately a and then close this. Sorry, and then close it. Right, so within the, the, the starting tag, I'm going to have href, href uh, equals, I'm going to have http, http um, colon, sorry, colon forward slash www.cie.org.uk. Www All right, so this is what we have. So let me save that. And then go and refresh my page and then go down and that's it so if i click on it you should be able to take me to cie website which is this all right so let's go back and then do the rest of them uh let me go back again to my page uh, let me see the next one the next one is um the word other education a hyperlink to website www headereducation.co.uk <laughs> okay so let's do let's do that let's do that quite immediately let's see okay so i'm gonna have that same anchor here and then close the tag here of course create a reference href and then equal sign within this section uh, we're gonna have um http again forward slash www dot further education further education dot go dot uk so I'll save my changes and then go and test it out most of the times it's good to test each and every one of the links just to be sure that they work all right so it works perfectly it takes me to further education right so we go back to the code and then let me just see the last one. The last one is hyperlink um, a text, the text W3C, a hyperlink to www.w3.org. Okay, so let's go back right there. So let me look for W3C, yeah, which is here. So I'm going to also create an anchor again. Um, anchor E, and then of course. Close that. Uh, reference href reference href um dot b so so http sorry http first forward slash and then www dot 
mm, w3 w3 dot org okay uh, did, I, did I close the tag yes I did okay so I'll save that and then refresh so that's where is it okay that's it here so I'll click are you gonna take me there yep okay so that's it all right so that's about it so this is the web page here so everything works perfectly and i'm good with it everything is okay right now okay so what's the next thing is there another thing so print the html view of this page so the html view is simply this here all right so uh, we go here we click here and then go down to print and then see how our print preview is going to look like On. okay good so it, come, it came out so neatly all right so this this is it here all right so that's how that's how uh, to do this all right so thank you so much um, don't forget to subscribe if you have any question please leave a comment down below I'll be happy to reach out all right thanks I will see you in the next one